Hello folks, I'm in the process of tearing apart this uh, HF 1055 EMS inverter unit. Again, it's the Freedom HF 1055 EMS by Xantrex. Um, this inverter is only about two years old. I will show you here. See? And it's already broken. So that's got to tell you something about the company. All right, first off, I'm just trying to take a video here of all the wiring, right where everything's supposed to go. All right, so this is going to be an interesting video here. But let me show you what the main problem is here. Now, we're going to go over here. I don't know if we can get a really good shot at it or not, but I already took the heat sink off. If you look real closely, one of the FETs here, see that one right there, Q7. It's got a crack and if we go over here some of the other ones too here it's hard to see but yeah right on in there and it's that same side left side one so they're probably tied together but anyways <clears throat> that's the problem you know with this potential unit and being in the display did not come on the status light would only come on. I mean, it would beep. It wouldn't come on every time you press it. So, and it was charging the battery. So that part's good. But the going up to the panel, remote panel and that, I think is all tied into that. And since they do not give out schematics of for or anything like that, our parts list, it's going to be interesting rebuilding this. And especially taking it apart. So anyways, folks, there you go. If you're thinking about buying one of these, well, take it from me. It, uh, here's a unit that's less than two years old and it's already blew up. Well, it should be made a lot better than what it is. Thank you for watching. As to everything that you've seen has just been my opinion and my opinion only. Thank you very much for watching again.